This video is about quadratic functions, um, particularly like graphing quadratic functions and identifying some properties about them. So we've seen before how to factor quadratic functions, um, but this will be focused on what I said previously. So we'll start off with the parent function. So the parent function for this would just be the very basic parabola with a vertex of 0, 0. So f of x equals x squared. Okay, so if I were to graph that, um, again, you should have these parent functions memorized. So it is a vertex of 0, 0, and then when x is 1, y is 1. When x is negative 1, y is positive 1. When x is 2, y is 4. And here, so it should be symmetric. And connect them to make a nice parabola shape. And there are. Okay, and so then the domain of this function would be, again, if you look to see um, if you were to draw a line from the curve down to the x-axis, how far could you do that? Well, remembering that your parabola extends forever and ever, it's getting wider as it extends upwards. Um, so the domain is from negative infinity to positive infinity. Okay, and then the range in this case, so same idea, but if you were looking at the y-axis, so here, um, the lowest I can go on the parabola is at the vertex of 0, 0. So I have a minimum of, in this parabola. Um, so my range is going to be from that minimum value, 0 all the way up to positive infinity. Okay, and then remembering too that I can include that 0, so I put a square bracket on it. And the intercepts, so I only have one intercept, which is at the origin in this parent function, so the intercept is 0, 0. And then an axis of symmetry it is actually the x value from the vertex. So my vertex is at 0, 0 as well, also my intercept. The axis of symmetry is going to be a line which splits the image, or the, the graph or the function exactly in half. So if I were to fold um, over that line, the y-axis, I would see that uh, I'd match up on both sides. So my axis of symmetry in this case is x equals zero. Okay, so let's just see some general properties with quadratic functions. Okay, so the general form, or general equation for a quadratic for formula, quadratic function rather, is this formula here. So where um, hk is the vertex, so it can either be a maximum or a minimum. Um, depending on whether the parabola opens upwards or downwards. So if the parabola opens up, like we just saw in the parent function, the vertex is a minimum. If the parabola opens down, then the vertex is a maximum. The a value in this case dictates how wide the parabola is. So if the absolute value of a is less than 1, then the parabola will be wider than the original, than the parent function. Okay, and then opposite, so if it is greater than 1, it will be narrower than the parent function. And if a is negative, so if it's less than 0, then your parabola will open down, so your vertex will be a max. And if your a value is positive, then your parabola will open up and your vertex will be a minimum. Okay, so let's see a couple examples. So the first one here, I have my quadratic um, in the general form that I saw before. So what I can do is I can plot my vertex to start off with. So my vertex is going to be at the point 1, 2. So I just have to remember that I changed the sign of whatever's in the brackets with the x here for my vertex. So 1, 2 is my vertex. Okay, and then I'm going to look at the a value. So the a value is positive 2. So I know my parabola is going to be opening upwards. And then what I want to do is maybe make a little table of values to figure out what's happening on either side of my vertex but keeping in mind that it should be symmetric when I graph. So 
to the right of my vertex, I have x is 2, and to the left of my vertex, I have x is 1. So when x is 2, if I plug that in here for x, um, I'll get 2 minus 1 is 1, squared is still 1, times 2 is 2, plus 2 is 4. Okay, and then if I plug in 0, I should get the same thing, so I'd have negative 1 squared, which is positive 1, times 2 is 2, plus 2 is 4 again. So I'm plotting the point 2, 4, and 0, 4. So I see here that my parabola is actually more narrow than my original parent function when my a value is greater than, or the absolute value of my a value is greater than 1. Okay, and then the domain of this parabola, so again, it's going to be all real numbers, so from negative infinity to positive infinity, because I could draw a line from my function to any point on the x-axis. My range though, so it has, it's opening upwards and has a minimum. So it's going to start at the minimum, which is a y value of two, and then it goes all the way up to positive infinity. And the intercepts, well, I don't have any x-intercepts here, but I do have a y-intercept. So I see that I have a y-intercept right here at zero, four. And my axis of symmetry, again, is going to be the x value from the vertex. So the vertex here was 1, 2. So if I draw a line at x equals 1 um, and fold my graph over that line, I'd see that both sides would match up. Okay, and let's see one more example. Okay, so same idea. Maybe I want to start with what is the vertex. So the vertex of this parabola is at negative 1, negative 1. So I'll plot a point there to start. And then I want to make a table of values to see maybe what's happening on either side of the vertex. And I also should look at the a value. So the a value here is negative one. So that means my parabola is going to be opening downwards. So I will have a maximum in this case. So to the right of my vertex, I have an x value of zero. And to the left, I have an x value of negative two. So when x equals 0, if I plug that in here, um, I would get 1 squared is 1 times a negative 1 is negative 1 minus 1 more is minus 2. And it should work out to be the same thing. It should be symmetric. So negative 2 um, plus 1 would be negative 1 squared is positive 1, but then negative again. So I would get negative 2 again. So I have the point 0, negative 2, and I have the point negative 2, negative 2. And I have my parabola opening downwards like this. Okay, so the domain in this one, again, it's going to be all reals. So from negative infinity to positive infinity. My range, however, it's going from, or sorry, I'm going up to a maximum. So I'm starting at negative infinity and I'm going up to my maximum height on my y-axis, which is at negative one. And I can include negative one. And then my intercepts, again, I have no x-intercepts, but I have a y-intercept at 0, negative 2. And again, my x, or my axis of symmetry is going to be the x-coordinate um, from my vertex. So if I draw a line here through x equals negative 1, I would get my axis of symmetry. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.